Hey everyone, Andrew Ragus, Northwoods Bass Fishing Adventures. I'm going to do a very important tip video here. Um, hopefully it turns out I'm in my office and the lighting isn't the greatest. But one of the common questions I always get and what I frequently often demo to my guide customers in the boat is how to tie a leader knot. So your leader to mainline attachment. Um, oftentimes um, the anglers that I host, their leader knots are jumping do typically the night before a guide trip I will re-rig all my rods make sure that the leader length is perfect we like to start off our day with like a three four five foot section of floral leader and then over the course of the day uh, that line will whittle down to a mere half foot length um, commonly what I observe in my boat make a cast that knot is getting caught in the rod's guides and you snap off your bait mid-cast. Happens commonly. Um, some, good knot, some good examples of poor knots that uh, typically do that is the double uni. Uh, by far one of the easiest knots to tie, but it's also one of the weakest. As line passes through small micro guides, uh, your knot is done. It's going to break off mid-cast and you're going to lose a bait and then you'll get all pissed off and angry. Um, so what compelled me into making a little tip video like this a couple weeks ago? I hosted a friend um, St. Croix rods one of my buddies. I won't name the angler, but he's a good dude uh, He's the boss man and While out on our trip, he's throwing swim baits and he breaks off two three or four of them mid cast without any explanation um, I asked him hey mind telling me what knot you're using he admit, admitted the double uni knot and uh, that made me fed up. And uh, what I did was I showed him how I tie my line to leader attachments and he did not have a single break off then for the rest of the trip. So he was in, amazed, in amazement. Um, so this is something that I wanna share with you guys. I by no means am taking credit for the invention of this knot. It's all over YouTube. Just do a search for RP knot. Um, a lot of companies have it on demo. Um, uh, namely Tackle Warehouse, Sunline, other line companies, it's the RP Knot. It's Royal Polaris Knot, very similar to the Blood Knot and to the Alberto Knot, just a different variation of it. So what I use and what we'll, what we'll go with is I have a spool of 12-pound Cortland line fluorocarbon, and I have cut off my main line, which is Cortland Master Braid, 15 pound. This is what I typically roll with on spinning setups. I'm only going to use a heavier fluorocarbon line just so we can see hopefully uh, well through the webcam. So I will show you guys the demonstration. So I've got my line and leader section all prepared and cut out. Uh, what you want to do first is create a loop with your floral just like that put this in your left hand just as i have it next you'll grab the tag end of your braided line if you guys can see you will run that braid up through the floral line tag then what you do put your middle finger through the loop of the floral carbon just like that and then with your index finger you've got your braided line in your hand and what i do then I start my looping. I'm going to start winding it through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you see that, you got the braided line wound around eight times along the loop and up along your floral carbon leader, right on the stem of it, right there where I'm pointing. Hopefully you can see it, crappy, good quality webcam, but it doesn't do it justice. So once you've gone eight times to the left, you're gonna go back in reverse eight times also. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you got your eight, eight uh, winds in reverse, back to the right side, you're gonna take the tag end of the braid, go in reverse back through the loop, just like that. And then you've got your tag end of the leader material. So I've got my tag end that's also gonna go in
and then you pull both tag ends through the loop. And what I also like to do, moisten, moisten your whole knot where it's gonna knot up. And final product, boom. I've got a really strong line to leader attachment. And the beauty of this is your line passes forward through your rod guides. The beauty of this line to leader attachment is as your line passes through the rod guides, typically on other leader knots, what happens is the leftover tag end is typically on the side of the leader. Whereas with the RP knot, your leftover tag end is going to be on the braided line side. You can kind of see it here, get it into frame. Kind of, not really. Crappy webcam. Just like that. And then what happens here? You've got a strong knot that is fail proof. And you will not lose baits mid cast. That's the beauty of this knot, just like that. So it's the RP knot, give it a try, check it out. Once you learn to tie the RP knot, just as I've illustrated, you'll quickly find and learn that it's by far one of the easiest and simplest knots uh, that you can tie as far as a main braided line to your leader attachment goes. Um, there are some fundamental shortcuts like I've showed and as far as tying it. Uh, once you get your whole all the fingers, the steps, and your muscle memory in order. It is by far one of the easiest knots and leader attachments that you'll learn. On a good day, it takes me 20 seconds or less. Um, I run, I actually use it for leader lines as thin as four pound fluoro to even attaching a uh, musky size fluoro to 60 or 65 to 80 pound braid. Um, so I have no problem doing that, uh, but typically for bass fishing, um, I'll, I'll run, you know, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, 25, and even 30 pound fluoro, and I'll run it directly to my braided line of choice too, so never a problem.